Hello. Um, it is Wednesday at 11.36 in the morning. I look like ever live in hell. I've only been up for like two hours or so. Um, haven't had enough coffee. Actually, I feel like I have had enough coffee. I'm just out of it today. Um, my ears are naked, which makes me sad. My face is naked, which makes me sad. And I really don't know why I'm making this video right now. Probably because I took my shot out a while ago and figured, why not just do it now? So, that's what I'm doing. Um, I haven't logged back into that Guru Gossip uh, website. I made my account, said what I had to say, then deleted my account. Um, so I haven't even gone back to see what all the bullshit that's been said um i just don't even care anymore like it was more like me sticking up for a friend than being part of a community just to have some drama you know um because god knows nobody likes drama you know i don't like drama but i've got a lack of drama in my life now so it makes me really excited when i get to take part in other people's drama so um yeah. TV's on. Okay, turn that off. Or mute it, at least. Turn it down, mute it, something. I don't know. Do you see this remote, by the way? This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's got a fucking help button on it. Where is it at? This button right here says help. Like, and it really does. You just press the help button and it fixes whatever the fucking problem is. And it's the most ridiculous remote I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like a $90 remote. Why? I don't know. But I don't ask questions either, so. I have cigarettes today, which makes me happy. Woo! Um, so, we're here for the shot, not a vlog. A vlog, if you will. Vlog. Um. <laughs> so, here's the shot. I also have this. I don't know why I brought this down. I think it's because I grabbed it when I grabbed my alcohol swabs. But, um, this is kind of funny. It's preferred sight is the front of the thigh. Stretch skin. Skin must be taut. Blah, 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 blah. It's like an instruction panel. I don't know why it's in there because obviously if you're on this medication, you should probably know how to use it before you get it. Um... <clears throat> Oh my god, I have to tell you something really funny while I start this process. Um, we just got a book in the store the other day. It's called Go the Fuck to Sleep. And if you're friends with me on uh, Facebook, you should definitely click on that link and watch the video because it's hilarious. It's an actual book. We put it in the children's section. Why, I don't know because it's not really a children's book. But I guess it kind of is. It's about the struggle you have when you try to put your children to sleep. And it's just hilarious. Samuel L. Jackson narrated the book for, I guess, YouTube or whatever. And it's just the funniest thing. If you can YouTube it, um, just type in, I guess, go the fuck to sleep or Samuel L. Jackson, go the fuck to sleep. Cause the book's called go the fuck to sleep, which I find absolutely hysterical. And if you have children, if you've ever babysat someone, if, you know, even if you haven't, you know, you know, the struggle, that people go through trying to put their kids to sleep. So you will absolutely, I was pissing myself laughing so hard. So you, anyone will appreciate this book cause it's fucking hilarious. And with Samuel L. Jackson narrating, like there's nobody better, nobody. So I'm gonna pull down my pants. Ugh. P.S. How funny are these pants? They are um, Simpsons pants. They're not mine. They're Kurt's, but whatever. I wear them. They're sleepy time pants, you know. Um, they have the Duff Beer guy on them, and they all have like different sayings inside of them. Like this one. I don't know. They say the it. There's a shirt that goes with it that explains. I don't know. But they say like, they say things like queasy, edgy, dizzy, remorseful, all things that happen when you get drunk. So that's why that's funny. Um, 
shot in my way. Open this up. I did that thigh on Saturday, so I'll do this thigh today. Ugh. This has actually become more tedious than anything else. Like, I really, 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 really hate doing this. Um, so I don't know where I'm going to do the shot, so I'm just cleaning off my whole goddamn leg with an alcohol pad because, I mean, whatever, right? Um, ugh, I have to go to work today, too. That's the other thing that sucks. I have to work from 3 to 8, which isn't a long shift, but the shifts at this place, man, they go on forever because it's like the most boring place in the world there's nothing to do except stand there and wait on the person that comes to the door every hour or so um we very rarely get busy in there it's kind of depressing sorry i heard kurt talking on his business call upstairs um oops i dropped it uh So I guess we're just gonna do the shot. Let's see if this has a little diagram of the place where they prefer you to do it, right? In the middle. Alright, this is probably gonna suck. Oh, my heart's like beating out of my chest because I don't want to press the button. Kurt if I could give him one because my skin is all clear you know I don't have any marks on my skin anymore my arms my knees my back my legs whatever I don't have any more spots so I asked Kurt if I could give him a shot and he was like no never not at all so whoo that one stung quite a bit it wasn't necessarily like I don't know it just stung really really bad Uh, I would also like to shout out to my friend Sarah. Um, I saw your last video about how you're only going to make a couple of videos, quite literally, a couple of videos a week because of all of this hater drama. And you know what I have to say to that? Somebody posted a comment on your video about how it only makes them feel victorious because you're backing down and I agree 110 percent I really feel like you should just keep doing what you're doing and people people are gonna hate no matter what you do and it pisses you off it pisses me off it pisses a lot of people off but you're only making them feel like they've won something by not making the amount of videos that you're doing you love to sing you love to do tutorials you know, and you're an awesome person and your subscribers love you. We, you know, heart, I don't know if you can see that, heart, we heart you. And we don't want you to go anywhere. And I under, I understand why you are, but I think it's kind of baloney sandwich that uh, you're thinking about, you know, giving into them and giving them exactly what they want, you know. And people are going to hate, and it's going to be what it is for as long as you can be. You know, if if every singer that Simon Cowell told they sucked, there would be no singers. You know what I mean? Like, Simon Cowell told everyone that they suck. But people that watch American Idol don't think these people suck. You know what I mean? Because otherwise we wouldn't watch American Idol. It's just... I don't know. I'm not awake yet, and I'm just not real happy that you're gonna go away and give in to these fucking asshole prick bastards. So, on that note, I am going to end this video, and, uh, we'll see you again sometime. Hasta luego.